Good morning. So, what's the score, Jack? Well, I've got 23 prosecutions, maybe. Every one of the punters, you know, stumbled on the fight by chance. Nobody's ever been to a dogfight before. Nobody organised it, nobody refereed it, and certainly nobody owns any of the dogs. Well, my scores are kennel full of healthy dogs that know only one thing, fighting and killing. Oh, they can never be trusted with people. Brian, you better go. I don't want the blame if you're late for school. See you later, Mrs. Moorhead. All that work, and they'll walk away with hundred-pound fines. Well, some of them have got form, so I hope we can do better than that. But we missed Burland. I was hoping for a custodial sentence by now, but that's gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Me too. Or maybe I shouldn't be. I have to wait a long time for resources like that from the police, Jack. If you haven't wanted Berlin for other reasons... Well, I can't get him for money laundering. I can't get him for... for drugs. Keeps his nose clean in Denton. Oh, he's like a disease. He's infectious. Well, if you can't find any other way to get him, Berlin will organise more fights. People like him really believe that animals are tearing each other to pieces. It's like going to a premiership match, only better. So, our interests coincide. Graham, Helen, we better put these dogs down now. I don't think the police are going to want to talk to us, do you? Neil, my dad can handle the police. Why well, and dad go berserk? So what? There he is. Had to be him. What do you mean? He came to a dog fight with us two months ago. Same place, he walked out. And there was a volunteer down at the RSPCA, and there was an RSPCA woman there yesterday. Come on, Brian's a pillock, but he's not going to risk saying anything. Look, my dad said someone did. Who else? This transit van, LX 54 NFD. Ownership's not disputed. Well, it was used to transport dogs to a dog fight yesterday afternoon. Inspector, you know perfectly well my client owns a van and car hire business. Yes, well, I would like all the paperwork regarding the hire of this van that you were seen driving yesterday morning, Mr. Burland. And you've been found guilty on two previous occasions of crimes regarding dogfighting. And this van was used to transport dogs to a dogfight that you claim you knew nothing about. And yet you arrived on the location just after the first fight had started. <laughs> and why were you there then, Mr. Burland? My client was trying to circumvent the football traffic. Shortcut. On his way to buy some pizzas. Must have been a glitch in the sat nerve, right? Quattro Stagioni's my favorite. What's yours? George? 
Morning, Jack. A mugging down in the underpass last night. Oh. Very nasty. The woman's going to be all right, but she's in hospital. Right. He could have killed her. We got some tire tracks, a mountain bike of some sort. If the bike's local, we might get a break there. We also found the woman's bag just dumped outside there. Right. It's with forensic now. Very good. And after all that, the cash was still there. Go on. Nobody local with this sort of form, is it? Nothing as violent as that, Jack, no. I don't know why people still use places like this. I mean, they're not safe, are they? I've been here before. Yeah, too many times. No, no, I don't mean like that. I mean... I mean, exactly this place. It's a long time ago. A woman got mugged and she was badly hurt. He's not going to admit it. Yeah, so what? He needs a smack in. How's it going, Brian? What's your problem, Sean? You, uh, broken up any dog fights lately? Yeah! <laughs> so, when you get fed up with football, you get a few mates around, a crate of beer, and you watch a dog fight. There'll be another day. I don't like Berland living on our patch either. We know he's heavily involved in drugs, but there's no evidence he's up to anything in Denton or the county. There's a limit to how much time we can devote to him. Well, he's trouble. And sooner or later, he's going to be our trouble. The Met have got him down for three murders. He may not have pulled the trigger, but he signed the checks. He has an irritating and clever solicitor. Mr. Salmon has submitted a file of harassment complaints. More won't help. been doing? Homework? <laughs> You're weird, mate. Anybody who think you like doing it? I do. That's how weird I am. All right, boys. Hi, Dad. See ya. Bye, darling. See you later. So I followed Brian after school. And now he's weird. He's at the RSPCA. So? Oh. Thought we'd go and see him. You still here? I'm off in a minute. Well, it won't be that long, Brian. I can give you a lift home. Uh, it's OK, Mrs. Moorhead. I'm heading to the library anyway. Ah. <laughs> you know, most vets would be struggling with this after a couple of years at college. <laughs> I'd be struggling now. It's good to know a bit about what the vets are doing. Mm. Well, I got a few muggings or attempted muggings in that area over the last two years. Nothing violent. Not in the underpass. Nothing using a bicycle. No, it was a lot longer than two years. I mean, I'm not trying to find a connection. It's just... It's just nagging me, you know? It's the same crime in the same place. And a bike and... A handbag we found with money still in it.